Hey guys, I'm gonna show you why bat insulation, fiberglass bat insulation, is really not a good idea to use in your attic. So, vaulted bedroom, right? So, you've got a, a typical ceiling about the eight, nine foot mark in the attic that runs from side to side, and then you have these, these knee walls that go up. And then typically, what they will do is they'll uh, just smush in bad insulation between the studs that are holding this drywall up and call that insulated. Now, to the naked eye, that's fine. But when you look at it under thermal, you can see, oh, let me get out of that fan, the motors. There we go. You can see how poorly installed bad insulation does not work. Every little pocket of insulation you can see where it's not pressed against the drywall all the way. And it's just not doing its job. So, I mean, that cold spot in the center of the screen right now is 56 degrees. There's a little more. So, better options are rigid foam that's glued into place, um, or what I see some guys do and I like is um, they'll create a pocket behind the knee wall with Tyvek and just dump tons of, of fiberglass or cellulose and uh, dense pocket in behind these walls. And that seems to work really well as too. So really anything but bad insulation uh, works better.